why are we writing it like this zn zn2 plus cu2 plus cu because we are trying to show the process as well okay so 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 whatever process is 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 undergoing in the uh, respective half cells they are or <coughs> they are represented here right so this is the oxidation process and, and to the left we write normally the reactants and to the right the products right so so it is following that convention there is there is something remarkable about this and you yourself would have come to this conclusion to this conclusion but that you'll understand when when we start uh, when we start to understand the reduction potential so so just wait for a, for a few videos right so th this will become very very evident and you'll find that this value as defined here will always be positive e cell will always be positive when defined as above okay Hmm? No, no, you, you'll understand. <coughs> Just don't worry. You'll understand all that. Why we have written it like that and what is the advantage of it and, and why and... Okay, so, so don't worry. We'll go to that. Now for a system like this, we have Cu plus Ag plus giving you Cu2 plus plus Ag. So what is happening here? What is happening here? Here copper is getting oxidized right here copper is getting oxidized while silver is getting reduced so let us try to write the to write the 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 half cell reaction so this gives you this plus two electron and here ag plus plus one electron gives you ag so what is happening? This is the reduction. This is oxidation. Whatever gets oxidized, we write to the left. Whatever gets reduced, we write to the right. But how do I come to this equation? I'll have to multiply this by 2. Why? So that when I add, the electrons cancel. Correct? The electrons cancel. So what happens? It should have been 2 Ag plus, And here it should have been 2 Ag. Even otherwise you could have thought it this way. That there was 2 positive charge here and 1 single positive charge. And the equation without being balanced seems to be generating a charge which we are not capable of we know that the charges are conserved fine so so this is how you write the reaction and then you know we we said that we keep a node always to the left what what do we mean where 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 the oxidation is taking place has to be kept to the left okay that is oxidation on left get it and reduction on the right okay 
okay the reduction on the right now what do i write then how do i form the cell how do i form the cell i'll remove these for a second how will the cell look like to the left oxidation so the copper which was here right now shifts to the left okay so so this is copper this is copper and this is silver this is silver what 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 where there it goes so this becomes copper that becomes silver how do i write how do i represent it in standard form this is how you represent the cell this is cell representation okay cell representation representation okay so so how do i represent it whatever oxidation is taking place with one single slash which represents one interface i write to the left double which represents the salt bridge i write to the uh, i i write in the middle and followed by the reduction this is how you represent the represent the the cell okay now what happens how do i write e cell e cell is nothing but e right minus e left what is e right e right is ag plus slash ag minus e because because now now hold on listen it will be minus what what do you think should i write here cu cu2 plus no <coughs> because standard standard potentials according to iu pack is reduction potential so so you will have to write it like that the common tendency is to write this minus write this why not but we are dealing with the reduction potentials okay so you have to write that i'll also come to this why you write it like that so don't worry okay we get the point so this is how you form a cell if you are given two species correct now comes the trouble and the trouble is you said we'll take the standard reduction potential as the given how do you measure the standard reduction potential okay how do i measure the reduction potential that's what we'll do next